welcome back. Still with us on the Sea Morning Show on this beautiful Monday morning. Let us leave Indonesia momentarily and check out some headlines from in and around Southeast Asia. Let's start with Cambodia, taken from the Straits Times, where human trafficking to China has risen sharply this year. Massive job losses caused by the COVID-19 pandemic are driving more young women and girls abroad to support their families, reports say. Over the past decade, tens of thousands of women from Southeast Asia have been sent to China by criminal networks promising good jobs where they are sold as brides, some to abusive men, while the country faces a huge gender imbalance. Moving on to Singapore, where seven government-funded special education or SPED schools will progressively begin will progressively begin operations on new campuses at permanent sites from 2022. This is part of the Ministry of Education's ongoing efforts to enhance accessibility to SPED for students with moderate to severe special education needs. Between 2017 and 2019, the ministry had said it will work with social service agencies AWWA, the Autism Association Singapore, Rainbow Center, and Meta Welfare Association to set up four new schools. This was to address the growing demand for places for students who have autism spectrum disorder or ASD with intellectual impairment. From Singapore, we, sp we give a spotlight on Bangladesh where a 250 kilograms life bomb has been found and buried at the construction site of the international airport in Dhaka. Now, experts speculate that the cylinder-like bomb was dropped sometime during Bangladesh liberation war against Pakistan in 1971. Construction workers discovered the bomb on Wednesday during the ex excavation for an extended terminal of Dhaka's Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport. Now, an air, fair, an air force bomb disposal team from a nearby, a nearby base was sent to defuse the bomb before it was taken away to be destroyed. 